new type of advanced gene testing is making it easier for people to find out if they are at risk of certain medical conditions. It's a boost to precision medicine that could mean fewer tests and cheaper healthcare costs. And we have adjunct associate professor Leong Kai Pang and Dr. Go Liu Ling from Tan Tok Sing Hospital. Let's start with you, Professor Leong. What exactly is multi-gene testing? How is it actually carried out? Well, up to now, we have been doing tests for few genes. So with this new technology, it's able to test many variants or many parts of the genes at one time. In fact, it's up to tens or hundreds of thousands at the same time. So this will save costs because instead of doing multiple tests at different times, many, things, many, many variants can be tested at one shot. Okay, so you said it, it saves tests mm. uh, because of the multitude of genes, but is the test itself expensive uh, as it stands? And also, um, do you require a doctor to order such a test? Yeah, the test will be more expensive than current tests, but not in multiples. The incremental cost is minimal. As now we do require doctors to order the test, so patients are not advised to approach us directly for the test. He has to go through a doctor's recommendation. Uh, Dr. Go, uh, these tests are to find out what underlying conditions people might have, I presume, and also uh, how we react to medicines. Each one of us is different because our genes determine how our kidneys, as an example, metabolize medication. So if, if you could explain to us how do these on these many different fronts, being able to do this kind of multi-gene testing, how does it help doctors tailor the kind of medication, the kind of therapy for which kind of patient? You can give a concrete example. Okay, maybe let's talk about um, medication first. The test will tell us whether a person can um, perhaps at risk for adverse reaction or maybe the person is not going to respond well due to the lack of efficacy. So based on this information, it can actually help the doctor to tailor the prescription to optimise the treatment for the patient. So rather than a trial and error approach, he can use the information for better care. Mm. So uh, I, I hate to harp on this, but again, I come back to cost because uh, we do say it's going to ultimately save uh, on the healthcare bill at the end of the day. Could I ask for a ballpark, perhaps? I think this is really case by case, mm -hmm. all right? It depends on how complicated the case is because the costs also have to factor in uh, the time taken for the lab scientists to draft the mm -hmm. report. So it's really case by case. So the, mm -hmm. the savings comes with the time uh, saved, uh, the kind of medications, the, you know, could you elaborate yeah. for us where <laughs> the elements of the cost savings come? Um, one is from, as Dr. Leung mentioned, if you were to run multiple single-gene tests, yeah. it's definitely going to be more costly than running a panel of tests. And imagine without the information, you know, the patient perhaps um, experience an adverse drug reaction, if they have to undergo more treatments, it does add up the cost. Mm -hmm. It would be more costly than running the test itself. Uh, Professor, if, if, uh, the next question for you. Uh, essentially, to expand uh, the capabilities of the lab at Tan Tok Sing, there has been a collaboration since last year with biotech company Thermo Fisher Scientific. Um, how does this tie-up improve all the things that both of you have mentioned? So more effective testing, cutting down of costs, uh, I suppose making things possible, you can do them simultaneously and more effectively for the right kinds of results. Yes, the company has helped us to uh, produce a customized version of the test. So these tests are suitable for our local population, which is distinct from, for example, the West. So they enable us to create a customized panel of tests. So the savings, as you said, uh, it's uh, not incremental to a great extent. And it also helps us to choose the right treatment. So there are indirect savings in the sense that as a doctor, when I treat a patient, if I know what is the best drug to choose, I will not subject my patients to either inefficient treatment or to adverse effects. So that will uh, much uh, guide me in my choice of therapy. Mm. 
So are the two of you excited about this? I mean, it sounds, you know, very exciting. Uh, Dr. Go to you, uh, in what way is Tan Tok Seng facility going to then uh, advance Singapore towards uh, this area of precision medicine? Yes, so precision medicine is about using genetic information to deliver, deliver individualised care. So I think it not only improves outcome uh, at the individual level, but also at the population level. Uh, we know that a lot of chronic diseases, let's say uh, diabetes or even mental health, they are not the result of a single gene. Yeah, yeah. In fact, many genetic variants contribute to these common diseases. Mm -hmm. So such information can actually um, help in preventing chronic diseases. It forms the basis for early intervention. Yeah. So this is very much in line with a healthier SG initiative for preventive care. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If we just uh, return to that, uh, I, I, I'm interested in, for example, you tie it with the company, right? Mm -hmm. And that the obviously reasons why you would pick Thermo Fisher and reasons why they would choose to work with you. And we like to use words like synergy, but uh, I'm sure the relationship between the two of you is necessarily synergistic. Mm. How have you been able to work with each other so that you play off each other's strengths? Maybe I'll go first for that. Sure. Um, I think for us, we provide the clinical inputs. What are relevant markers to be included into this chip so they array? don't know. Um, you know better because you actually I think we can share um, okay. more clinical uh, inputs on that and they provide the technology so instead of off-shelf panel uh, what they can provide us is a customised panel so we can actually customise the content so that as Dr Leo mentioned is relevant for our population yeah. we can include um, markers that are relevant for medical conditions here as well and then they provide something that it's not to cut down on this trial and error business they already start with some trial and error, so they offer you something that is more likely to work. Yeah, so they have the technology, but we know what are the genes that are important. So we tell them, please make a test of these genes, and they created the test. So it's a customised test. It's not something bought off the shelf. Mm. So it's tailored to our population. All right, well, mm. thank you both for coming in and uh, having a chat mm. on this uh, Wonderfully exciting developments. Uh, we've you. been speaking there with adjunct associate professor Leong Kai Pang and Dr. Go Liu Ling on the multi gene testing at Tan Tok Seng Hospital. Thanks so much.